Hello and welcome. I'm Sim Klebe and this is my first speed build with audio commentary. That's why I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Since English is not my native language, I have written together a few keywords in advance and hope I can provide you with interesting information about my speed build. Today I'm building an Italian farmhouse. I took the inspiration from Pinterest and that's what it should look like in the end. I chose it because I'm from Italy myself. I like the farmhouse style and I love cottage living. I've been waiting for this expansion pack since like Sims 2 <laughs> and was incredibly happy when it finally came out. I mean, you can have a cow. How could you not like that? Even though cottage living is more English inspired, I think it also works great for my Italian farmhouse vibe I was going here for. I wanted to make it very similar to the picture and uh, to create the courtyard flare. And the house stands on a 64 by 64 lot, even if the farm is super small. I chose this for a reason. <laughs> um, as you know, it happens very quickly in the gameplay that you have to expand and that works great here. To the back of the house there is a lot of space to grow several crops uh, or to place more stables or whatever. I had some trouble finding the right windows, especially because the double windows are a bit too big for my taste. I've never used the green color in these windows before, but I think they actually fit quite well with the style I was going for here. I didn't know what the full pan would be like at this point and I only uh, tried to make the exterior look great and fit the rooms later on and yeah, that was a pure disaster. <laughs> and I have to admit, yes, I used CC. I didn't really want to do that at the beginning and upload the house CC free, but there is this organic pack by Hey Harry and Felixandra and you have to check it out because that's just ideal for everything that is farm related. Especially the entrance arch fits perfectly into the picture and because I've already used it there, I decided that I also want to use some of the furniture from this pack for the inside. The climbing plants on the walls are a great invention. The new ones from Cottage Living work great. Don't look artificial and make the house look more realistic. Just like the water drainage pipes and stuff like that, um, with these little details, every house becomes more realistic and I had a lot of fun trying it out. I think it actually looks quite cute. <laughs> I only did a little landscaping because the farm is intentioned to be expanded. And the farm itself should look as if it has been family owned for generations and has always been actively managed and there's always a lot of life going on, a lot of people coming around and stuff. I had a problem with hens. They have their own chicken coop in the game, uh, but here where I live it is common for the hens to be like in the barn and then to go outside via a hole in the wall and then down a wooden staircase and into the courtyard. And that's why I also placed the hens here inside and made the open passage. Recently I also own laundry day and I love it. It's super cool. I have a lot of fun using it. In fact, actually, I haven't been able to try it out in game playing yet because at the moment I'm almost only building. Um, for example, recently I was, a, I was part of the Real to Sims collab. If you haven't yet, go check it out with this hashtag on Instagram. There were so many unbelievable good builders being part of that. And if you have time, you should really check it out. Um, I built Mediterranean, Mediterranean, <laughs> well, I built a Mediterranean villa with a courtyard for it. Originally, the house was planned um, for a couple or an individual. But yeah, things have happened. <laughs> and now it is designed for a family with two children. Normally, a typical farm family would have more children, and of course, my house is much too small for that, but uh, you can always expand it. Regarding floor plan. Downstairs, I wanted a bathroom, especially for guests. Uh, the entrance area here um, has unfortunately become too big, but I couldn't handle the stairs, so that's just what I came up with, and that's it. <laughs> And then there is a kitchen slash living room slash dining room. Um, this is where the whole family life takes place. 
And upstairs there is a bathroom with bathtub, a children's room for two children and the master bedroom. The windows and bushes all had to be readjusted after I had the floor plans. I wanted stone flooring in the entrance room and wood everywhere else except in the bathrooms. I love also the new cottage living wallpapers but also didn't want to bring in too many different colors and therefore I decided on a base game wallpaper for the entrance area and then the green cottage living wallpaper has found its place in the master bedroom. The kitchen also has cottage living in it like a lot. It fits in great I think, um, but with this layout it was a challenge for me to build the kitchen so that it is big enough but does not consume the entire space. After all I also wanted a table and a sofa and yeah, <laughs> especially the large table is common here. That's where the whole family life takes place and for that I actually thought organic pack furniture would be ideal. But then I changed my mind again because with a large table the couch didn't really fit anymore and the fireplace would not have had any space and yeah therefore there is uh, now a small table for and a couch with TV, a fireplace and a bookshelf. After all I also wanted the sims to be able to meet all their needs. The small bedroom next to the entrance area um, is intended as a day toilet. I'm a huge fan of this laundry day object. In the master bedroom a lot of cottage living was also used and the swatches from the bed are actually super cute. The room for the children is tiny but I imagine that the children of this family would love the farm and therefore play outside all day. Um, they would just do like homework at the kitchen table and really just be in their room to sleep. In the big bathroom I wanted a combined shower with bathtub because in gameplay it needs the bathtub if you want to bath toddlers. Uh, here I try to use the elongated layout as much as possible even if it is rather difficult to be furnished at least for me. The entrance area should look friendly, but also used. Also, I think the family would have a dog and like 50 cats, at least. <laughs> um, but I think a dog is a must-have, so I also hung the, the stock leash leashes next to the door and in the courtyard there's a feeding bowl. How do you actually decorate your houses? Well, I noticed that I did rather strangely. I don't do this from room to room, but set up the house in general and equip it with the most important things and only at the end I'm looking through the decorations and scroll through it and then jump through the rooms for each object to place it. It's like I do not have any logic in that and I'm super caught. <laughs> 
and accordingly a lot is deleted and repositioned again and again and I'm never really satisfied with my houses. I think this one has come together quite well and looks nice and lively but I will probably never be like completely satisfied. And the barn for my cows was also fun. Yeah, that was her cousin. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted an indoor barn for my cows, or my, my cow, because I only placed one. Um, it is walkable, it is usable, and if you want, you can place more cows in there. Uh, simply downsize the barn and put it in and cover it with the bucket so that you can still assess it without problems but you can no longer see it and due to the placement the cow can go out and also stay in the courtyard and they, she would probably go back to sleep and would disappear in the stable Yeah, and that's it. Then it was done. My small Italian farmhouse is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be so kind to subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button. On Instagram, I'm also called Sim Kleber, and I would be incredibly happy if uh, you would go there to find me and would follow me. And yes. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.